In this video, I'm going to do a breakdown difference between two of the most popular website hosting companies and give you a few tips on which one would be the best for you. Now that I have your attention, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of all the new videos that comes from our channel. Ready? Let's do this. Hey there, welcome to my channel Utilize Your Business. My name is Yogesh. I also run the blog with the same name Utilize Your Business. Do check that out. Link will be in the description. Now, lately, I don't know about you, but my internet has been acting up. Now, what that has to do with this video? Nothing. But I figured I should just give you a random information about what I go through day to day. Anyways, let's go back to this video. So today we're going to talk about HostGator versus Bluehost. And I'm going to tell you all the difference between these two website hosting providers and which one is better for you. I'm going to look at the price. I'm going to look at the all the different features and also look at the performance on these two so that you can decide which one is better for you. Stay back till the end of the video. You have a bonus tip on website hosting. So stick around till the end of the video. So are you planning to start a website and looking for a web hosting or do you currently do have a website and are looking to change your current web hosting providers? Let me know in the comment yes or no. So it's really hard to choose uh, website providers because there are so many website uh, hosting providers out there and you just have to look at their features and pricing to do that. Well, in this video, I'm going to narrow down to HostGator versus Bluehost. Now let's look at their pricing and what's the difference between both of them on the pricing and what you get with each of their plans. Okay, now let's look at the pricing plan. We start with the HostGator. They have three different plans and for the starter, if you're just starting it, you're looking at $275 per month. This is their introduction offer and what you get is a free domain, which is good. Free SSL certificate that is good for the website. Unmeter bandwidth. Now, this is not similar as the unlimited bandwidth, so just be sure. Free WordPress and the cPanel websites transfer so that you can uh, put in the WordPress and it is for one website only. So this is the starting plan for HostGator. Now, let's look at the Bluehost. Bluehost, their starting plan is $3.66 for a month. Month. Now, in the Bluehost, they have it for 36 months, which is three years term for this. So you just have to be careful when you're signing up with the Bluehost. The one good thing about the uh, Bluehost is the order renewals. It's at the same price, so they don't increase the price at the order renewal. Whereas a lot of different uh, website holders, such as SiteGround, do increase a price at the time of a renewal and some of the things you get with the uh, Bluehost is the storage which is 50 gigabyte it's similar to what um, HostGator has where they have unmeter which by the way is not unlimited 50 gigabyte is good enough for people who are just starting it on average a website who just starting it can upload you know from one gigabyte to five and as your website grows bigger you can always transfer it for the starting purpose is pretty good you have a sport um, they have the custom themes now the other things they have is, is the free domain which is for one year you get a free domain cdn which is good for the speed and i'll do we'll talk about more in the performance sector and also the uh, free uh, SSL certificate for the security purpose. So those are the difference between the uh, starting price and price between the HostGator and Bluehost. Now, let's look at the uh, HostGator features. What do you get when you sign up with the uh, HostGator? First one is they get a free domain name for one year. The second one is the WordPress install. Now most of the websites are there are on WordPress and you get a one-click install on your website. Now for people who were transferring their domain from one site to another, it's a free transfer and they do help you with the uh, migration of the website from one hosting to, to themselves. The other one is the 45 days money back guarantee. So most of the other website uh, hosting providers uh, do offer 30 days but postgator offers you for 45 days so which is pretty good they're flexible in the pricing billing 
what that means is you can be there for the month to month you're not locked in for a year or three years so which is pretty good for people they can um, you know go on monthly and if for whatever reason they need to transfer to some other websites hosting they can do that without any penalties and which like uh, rest of the website holder store they do provide you with the free SSL certificate for the security purposes on top of that they do give you some ad spend money from Google at the time of this video it was hundred and fifty dollars and from the Bing Microsoft Bing's is a hundred dollars so you do have some ad spend money that you can use to promote your blogging or whatever else on your website on these platforms now let's look at Bluehost and their features the one thing I really liked about Bluehost is when it comes time to order and rules it time to order and rule you're not going to be paying higher price you're going to be paying the same price when you signed up for them so what that is one of the best thing versus some of the other sites such as uh, SiteGround which they do increase the price when it times to come to renewal and they do have a limit on the storage which is 50 gig which should be more than enough for people who are just starting it their support is great and like uh, HostGator, they do have free domain for a year and also the uh, for the security SSL certificate for your website. Now, the other thing that I really liked about uh, Bluehost is this, they also have free CDN installation that will help you for your website to speed it up for the speeding purposes. And it does matter it when you're trying to rank it on Google. On top of that, they do have similar to HostGator one click install on it for the wordpress and bluehost also has the easy to use uh, custom templates to build your website so those are the features that you come in once you join with uh, bluehost now let's look at the performance of each of the website their uptime and also my personal opinion about uh, which one is better hostgator or bluehost now when you look at the uh, uptime both of these website hostgator and bluehost their uptime is pretty much the same, about 99.9%. You can uh, search it on the Google, you'll get that. Bluehost is a little bit faster than the uh, HostGator because they do provide you with the uh, CDN, which helps you with the speeding of your website. Now let's talk about the uptime of uh, HostGator and Bluehost. Both of these website hosting providers, they do have upside close to 99.9%, which is really good. and they do have the reliability is pretty good they've been in the business for a long time so in terms of reliability and performance they're they're pretty good do will give edge a little bit more to the bluehost because bluehost do give you some additional such as cdn which is free you're not paying it extra and which does help with your website speed so bluehost gets a little bit edge in terms of performance and the speed overall maybe you know little bit like let's say a little bit more percent on the blue host versus the host gainer now let's talk about what i do like about host gator and what i do like about uh, blue host and which one is better for your business so the things that i do like about host gator is their unmetered storage for the new website the price is pretty competitive versus the blue host and on top of that you get to uh, free domain for one year at least free from uh, HostGator and not to mention their billing which is a flexibility you could be on there for a month to month and they do have 45 days money back guarantee so those are the things I do like about HostGator now some of the things I don't like about HostGator is now they do have hidden fees once you sign up some of the other upsells are there there are the hidden fees so you have to take care of that and reach the fight frames when you are signing up with the um, host gator now sometimes their customer service is not as to date and takes a little bit more time for you to get an uh, answer from the customer service so i'll put the customer service on average and also the reliability of the site backup so you do need for your site to have a backup just in case if something happens and your site is broken which you don't get that much support in the hostgator so those are the things that i don't like about hostgator now let's talk about bluehost what i do like about bluehost and what 
what I don't like about Bluehost. Their pricing is pretty good and pretty competitive versus all of the rest of the website providers. And they do provide, similar to the HostGator, one year on the domain name, so you get it free. They do have free CDN, which is good for your website speed. And there's no hidden charges when you do sign up with the um, Bluehost. On top of that, the reliability of uh, Bluehost is pretty good. They're a pretty reliable company. If uh, you want to sign up with Bluehost, there shouldn't be any hesitation to that. Now, there are some things that I don't like about Bluehost, so let's talk about that. The first thing is, when it comes for the domain name to be renewed, they are renewed at the higher price. So you have to be careful of that. And the second one is they do have pretty aggressive upsells when you're signing up with Bluehost. Now, some of the things that you don't need it, so you can just uncheck the checkout. But that's one of the things that I don't like about Bluehost is their upselling and their aggressiveness in upselling the stuff that you don't need, especially when you're starting the website. So that's a complete comparison between HostGator and Bluehost. Let me know in the comment, did you like this video? Was it an eye opener in terms of some of the features that hosting providers provide? And have you figured out which one you're gonna go? Let me know in the comment, HostGator or Bluehost. So you just learned the difference between HostGator and Bluehost, two of the most popular website hosting provider. And since you stay till the end, I'm going to share with you some of the bonus tips that I use in choosing the hosting provider. First thing I choose is, is their servers, are they fast enough? Because Google these days, speed is the main thing. Second all is the support, how good their support is and how they can come and help you when your website is broken or there's a downtime on your website. Third and most important is at the time of renewal, what are the prices going to be? Are they going to charge you the higher price or are they going to charge you the same price? Because they will entice you to sign up at a lower price, but at the time it comes to renewal, the pricing will go up. So just be aware of these three points and pretty sure this video will help you to find which is the right website provider for you. If you're just starting it, there's nothing wrong with HostGator or BlueSide. Just pick one and start building your website. All right, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And those of you who are not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel and do watch the other videos that are posted on our channel about web hosting, about SEOs, and about blogging in general. And till next time, see you.